Welcome to another edition of Break It To Make It. Our competitors will be given a random object to bust open a hard to break thing. With cash on the line, who will come out on top? We're about to find out. Everyone, it's your girl Sloan and peep the fit. This one's for the poop knife pals, which just shows you I'll wear any shirt that a fan sends me. Thank you. I am one of those rare individuals who has broken more things than he's kept intact. Let's begin. I'm back. All of my dreams came true just by being back here with all of you. I don't have anything funny or clever to say. Let's just do it. What are we breaking? For round one, you're breaking a clay teapot. Do I have something mean to say about someone? Cause this tea is about to be piping hot. Spill it. If I rub it, do I get wishes? A little genie comes out. Four. Something sharp, because I never got anything sharp last time. Emily gets a tea infuser shaped like a flamingo pool float. God. <laughs> Number nine. Glory be honey sticks. Like when I hadn't removed my shirt, because this is going to get messy. The amount of cups of tea I shan't be drinking, it's 15. Sloan gets a tea light candle. Number 14. What is this for? He's got tools laying around on the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't eat your tool. <laughs> and break. Oh no, it dented my little candle. It's like whack-a-mole, but worse. I didn't feel that. That was your breaking tool. No, this is a breaking tool. <laughs> Somebody get that man some bits of shame. Okay, well. Just a bunch of aluminum foil now, folks. It's so messy. I'm gonna just shove it in there. Oh geez, it's metal. I had so much confidence. I can tell you're new to the game. Once you speed this up, this action shot is gonna look nuts. This is modern art. I'm selling this for $5,000 and I'm not taking a penny less. Is Daniel Banksy? We're gonna do the yole into the palm and I got yeah. There's really not much that can be done here, gang. These things have just become nothing. Hey, Wax? No thanks, I just ate. Now on to round two. Like any good party now that we've spilled the tea, let's get on to the good stuff. That is the Light Up Frog Egg Ball, a wonderfully tactile fidget toy with glowing insides. Oh, it, it like strobes. Hey, I heard there's a sick rave down at the swamp. Got a five. Something sharp. A wooden log. <laughs> okay. Number 12. A can of Creole seasoning. But why though? Two. It's actually a 12. It's actually a frog statue. Ten. A crown fit for a frog princess. Today I shall be king of the frogs. Let's do it. Let's break. All right, right off the bat, it's just gonna be more fun if it can pierce right through. This season of the crown is crazy, y'all. All right, well obviously we gotta do this first. Obviously. I'm trying to get the metal off. Love that. So let's just get these guys out of here. Sloan with a royal rip. Oh, it feels strangely satisfying. This'll be... Oh, it's really tough. I think I just gave it more toughness by putting spice. You were saying? Okay. Let's head on over to round three. All right, what's next? In this round, our players will be smashing Disney classics on VHS. Guys, this is Beauty and the Beast. Platinum edition? This is worth at least like two bucks. Oh my gosh, a coupon? You know what? <laughs> Let's add to the fit. Pocahontas 2 Journey to a New World, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this movie ever needed to be made. Now it can be unmade by smashing it to bits. Uh, Lady and the Tramp. Little Pinocchio. Oh, -ka -ka. That's before Pinocchio wished to be a CGI boy. We got a six. Some sort of real weapon. A remote control, a parent's weapon of choice when it's time to go to bed. Again, it goes as a theme. Looking for a number one. Well, found it. Oh, that's a bummer. No, it's a crochet hook. Not a number, but a bunch of letters. At Mattia G. Fitting for the poop knife, pals, it's a toilet brush. Oh, Mattia. I'm sure it's unused. If you'd like to see your name in the game, send us an email at breaks at vat19.com. I found 13, here you are. 
<laughs> uh, what, a DVD player? That's what we had before streaming. DVD did kill VHS. Beauty and the break. Okay, yeah. Oh. I don't know why I'm just hitting Beast. That is not intentional. The VHS cracked. No, stop it, Maria Boy! Oh, that's, that's broken. Oof, right in the childhood. Oh, hey, I turned in the Kyle. The resemblance is uncanny. Yeah, this time when Pocahontas heads to the new world, it's the trash can. Oh, this is, this is satisfying. Where's the film? Actually, it's magnetic tape. You must destroy it. Kyle opting to be unkind and unwind. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Huh. You know Gaston would have done it. Nuts, this is just like what media came on? I don't know where the label, the cover went, but I, this is a break. Oh, Lord, no! <laughs> oh, that makes me so sad! This is my childhood right here. All right, do we want to pop this in the VHS player to see if it still works? Yeah, that's my favorite scene. We're moving on to round four. Next round, let's do it! This round's item is a shiny metal balloon dog statue. I'm so sorry, is the welding kit going to be an option for me? To the table. We got an eight. Again, I would love something sharp. You get a water balloon attachment kit. Again, it goes with the theme. That's a number three. And this is a hot dog candy cane. Bang. Only villains shoot the dog. Number seven, lay it on me. It's a totally normal men's hair piece. 11, brass knuckles, brass elbows, a brass tibia. How about a ceramic clown? What in the cursed hell? Gang, I don't wanna to touch this too much exposed. I'm worried that's how the curse spreads. I'll show you in a second. The next Conjuring movie starts now. I'm shocked by what just happened. Oh, he's made out of metal too. I'm gonna get it around the little curl around the head. God, you know, skitter tight. The curse comes through. Emily's still hoping for a dog deflation. Oh, oh. What do I do now? The timer's still going, wherever the heck it is. Oh, oh, I'm sure I have 30 seconds left, but what the heck am I supposed to do with it? I have no item to break. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I got a piece off. Who needs sharp when you have repetitive blunt hits? Time now when I'm having fun, I'm having fun. And that's time. Welcome to the big money bonus round. Our players will have 30 seconds to break a tin of Crazy Aaron's Super Illusions putty into two or more pieces. Put it on the table. <laughs> okay, I'm very familiar with the Super Scarab putty. Super Scarab? What does that mean? I don't know, but it sounds better than regular Scarab. Folks, I'm gonna say it. I think this might be the best putty. In this round, our contestants can grab any tool from our workshop they want to try and break the putty tin. What are you waiting for? Break! Okay, we're cruising, people. <laughs> He's gonna need a new saw after this. <laughs> two times more cutting power. This. Oh, I'm sure something. Oh, there's a thing here. Don't mind if I do. Choose your item. I got it. And Kyle pulls a last minute switcheroo. Yeah, ah! Go, 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 go. Oh. Oh no. Maybe I needed three times the cutting power. Yes. Nice, good, putty, punctures. God, you can use a pitchfork to break anything. Those Amish know what they're doing. Something sharp, finally. I had to choose it though, but it's fine. <laughs> Emily, making her own dreams come true. We got some nippy nips happening, which usually means something terrible, but right now it's, it's good. How's that audio doing? Sound good? It's 
going to be a break because that's... And Sloane takes full advantage of that two times cutting power. And... No! Something sharp. Finally. And that's time. Guys, that might be a break. How many holes in this guy? In this guy. Let's see what's inside. Oh. Oh, looks like he just got shot with a shotgun. But it didn't. It got pitchforked by a Kyle. Truly a fate worse than death. Be sure to check out all of our cool products at vat19.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Vat19.com.